Hey everybody, we're continuing our 21 days of fasting and prayer. Uh, today's episode is called Don't Follow Your Gut. So when we need advice, a lot of times we pick up the phone and we call somebody, uh, we ask for advice and they give it. And sometimes we follow it and sometimes we don't. Um, a lot of times we just rely on our gut. We just rely on our gut to give us the best uh, insight, you know, we have experiences and we try and draw from those experiences and sometimes we make the right call and sometimes we don't. The truth of it is God wants to give us wisdom that can change our lives and empower us to be able to make wise decisions that will impact all of our choices. Uh, it says in the book of Proverbs chapter 3, verse 1, My son... Do not forget my teaching, but let your heart keep my mitzvot, my commandments. For length of days and years of life and peace they will add to you. Let kindness and truth never leave you. Bind them around your neck and write them on the tablet of your heart. Then you will gain favor and a good name in the eyes of God and man. Trust in Adonai, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will make your paths straight. Now listen, the wisdom that God wants to give us comes from his Holy Spirit, and it comes from the scriptures. In the book of James, it says, God gives wisdom liberally to all who ask for it. And the source of that wisdom is God's word. The more time we spend in God's word, the more and more we uh, grow into what's called the mind of Messiah, and we grow into the mind of Messiah, we learn to think like God. We learn to see situations like God does. We start getting this thing called discernment. And discernment can help us have spiritual wisdom and insight to be able to judge situations and you know look at the world around us through a spiritual lens. So I wanna encourage you today to spend some time in God's word as we fast and pray and ask God for wisdom because the wisdom he wants to give us is transformative, it's powerful, and it can change lives. Let's pray. Holy Father, we need your wisdom in our, at work in our lives. I, I, I want to think more like you. I want to see the things that you see in situations, and I want to have that wisdom imparted to me in everything that I do. Please give us wisdom. Give the leaders of restoration and all the people who go to restoration and are watching this and joining with us in prayer um, wisdom and help us have wisdom to complete our mission to lead people to become fully devoted followers of Yeshua. See you next time. Amen. See you next time.